Okay, let's talk wreath bases. You guys know the standard wire wreath base for when you're making like a bubble wreath. There's also the straw wreath. I've used these a lot. And the not so common, the duct tape pool noodle. I did this as a base when I made my um, grad wreath for my boys and it got tons of great um, reviews, one of my most popular posts. And then a lot of gals are using these embroidery hoops. They're undoing them and then they've got a nice wood base for a wreath. But there are limitations to all of these bases. Some of them are not big enough or um, they're expensive and if you like to DIY and make your own wreaths to save a lot of money, I'm going to share a tip with you today. And of course, out of all the bases that I have in my house, I don't have one grapevine wreath that is store-bought, in store-bought condition. But you know what I'm talking about. It's the base for this wreath here. When you buy them, I usually buy the one that's about 4 to 5 dollars. It has a very thick piece of grapevine that wraps around the wreath and essentially holds it all together. So my tip for you, when you get home, go to the backyard, take a pair of wire snips or something like a heavy duty scissors and snip that thick vine that is wrapped around the grapevine wreath. What you can then do is you can open it up and you can use it as a garland or what I do is I take it apart and I make three to four smaller wreaths out of that one store-bought $5 wreath form. Um, it's budget friendly and the thing that I like about it is when you buy those in the store they're really thick like for me looking at this uh, straw wreath form it's real heavy feeling and I don't really want the focus of my wreath to be on the base. I want my focus to be on the beautiful items that are on the front of my wreath. So I'm going to take you around my house and show you some different wreaths that I've made with one grapevine wreath base. This is the first one and you can see, I'm going to hold up, this is I think a 12 inch form. I think you can see the difference. This little guy would fit right in the middle. So this wreath form that I made and I customized it to the size that I wanted, it's probably 18 to 20 inches. I'm not sure why we went fuzzy there. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, if you followed my blog for any length of time, you've no doubt seen my little $10 farmhouse wreath made with ribbon I found at Walmart. This is a wreath that is built on one of those wire bases like I showed you. All right, then right over here on my laundry room door is my coffee filter wreath. A little hard to see because there's so much light coming in. This one is hot glued onto a straw base. And both of these tutorials are on my blog. You can check them out if you search wreaths in the search box at the top of my blog. We're in my office right now and I wanted to just point out that um, very dark. This cute little wreath, boxwood wreath, was made from part of that garland, the grapevine garland that I took apart. And the other wreath that you'll see in this tutorial is now hanging on my mantle and I don't really want to show you that one because I don't want to give it away. But let me see if I can hold this up. You can see that I've got an entire wreath base left. This one I haven't done anything with. I haven't wired it. So that's four wreaths from one $5 store-bought wreath. You can see how the value for your money goes a very long way. I hope you find this tip useful. Let me know if you do.